Should a woman make the first move on a man that she finds attractive? Hmm. Let's talk about this story about the couple who fell in love in three days. I retold their love story and it went viral. People were going crazy in the comments saying that they wish it was them. It seems like a fairy tale. They wish that real love exists. It's giving them hope. And I was all here for it. I'm all loving it. But then I thought about it. All of these women want love, but are you willing to do what it takes to really experience love in your life? Think about what this woman did. Her name is Constance. Her husband's name is William. And they met a couple years ago. And from the beginning of the relationship, they knew that they were a perfect match for each other. And they have been making it work. But what did she do that you're not doing that may be holding you back from love? Number one. When she first encountered him, she thought he was attractive, so she stopped him and engaged in conversation. She just didn't let it pass. She just didn't wait for him to, to notice her and propose to her. Number two, when she saw that he was running late for his flight, she offered her assistance to help him to make the flight, even though he didn't make it. When he didn't make the flight, what did she do? She offered to, to help him find a hotel. And once she took him to his hotel, she suggested that they go have dinner. What else did she do? They hung out, spent time together. But the most important thing she did, she believed in love. She gave him a fair chance without bringing any baggage from her past and punishing him for things that other people did. She realized that she was having fun feelings for this man, and she expressed them. She was the one who told him she loved him first. And once he did show up to give her this great romantic surprise, she didn't run away from it. She accepted it. She decided she deserved love. She decided she wanted love. And then she accepted that it could happen. She treats him as a soulmate, and he behaves like one. Are you willing to do that? Now take a look at the viral video, and maybe you'll be inspired to have some more love in your life. Tea time. Did you hear the story about this couple and how they met and fell in love? It's so cute. So first of all, she owns a business at the Orlando airport where she holds people's luggage. It's a family owned business. It's been around since about 2017 and it's flourishing. She's at work one day and it's a day she wasn't even supposed to go to work because her son, it was his shift, but he wasn't feeling well. So she filled in. While she's at work, a man, this man walks up to her and was like, can you hold my luggage? And she's like, uh, yeah, he's fine. She's like him, but she's like, hold it together, professional. And as they're doing that transaction, she starts to talk to him and she asks him, what are you doing today? You know, what are you going to go get into? And he's like, oh, I'm about to go to the mall. I got a few hours before my flight. So might as well just hang out and have a good time. And they realize they have some things in common, namely that he took care of his mother until she passed away. And he said, wow, I took care of my husband until he passed away. And they're like, wow. So he goes off on his adventure. He takes the bus to the um to the mall. He hangs out. And he's saying while he's there, he can't stop thinking about her. And she says while he's gone, she can't stop thinking about him. But on his way back, he ended up getting on the wrong bus because it took longer to get back to the airport. Now, her business is about to close because it's late. And she calls him and was like, um, are, are you okay? And he's like, I'm on my way. And she's like, what time is your flight? And he's like, 7.30. She's like, but it's 7 o'clock. You're never going to make it. And he's like, I'm going to try. She said, you know what I'll do? I'll meet you. I'll, t I'll bring your luggage to you so you can have a faster time getting through the check-in. And she goes to meet him, gives him his luggage, and wishes him well to get on the flight. But she said secretly she was praying to her guardian angels. Oh, no, please don't let him get on this flight. Please don't let him get on this flight. And her angels were listening because what? She checked up on him again and called him, and he said, I missed my flight. And she's like, that's okay. You know, we, I can find you a hotel, and you can just stay the night. So she picks him up and they go to check in at his hotel and outside the hotel is a restaurant and they decide, let's have dinner. They have dinner. She said, we're having such a fantastic time and he's loving it. They are loving spending time with each other, enjoying this energy. And the restaurant closes and they still don't want to leave each other. So they go sit in her car and they just talk and they just talk. And she tells him like, you know, how she feels, what she's expecting, you know what I'm saying, from, from relationships and he's telling her and things like that. So the next day he flies back home to Miami and they're still keeping in touch. And she said the thing she loved about him was every time she texts him, he texts back fast. Every time she called him, he picked up. Even if he was busy, he would just tell her, hey, you know, I'm busy. So, you know, um, I'll call you back when I can. It, it never felt like she was being pushed to the side. 
So three days later, it's her turn to take a trip. She had planned to go um, visit her daughter in Boston, and her daughter's up there doing something cool. <clears throat> so she goes, she on her way to the airport, she's treating him like her boyfriend already because she likes him. She likes him so much. And she's like, okay, I'm on my way to the airport. And when she gets on the plane, I'm on my way. I, I'm on the plane now. I'm, I'm safe and sound. I just want to let you know. She's texting him. I love you. She texted him that she loved him three days after she met him and then turned off her phone. <laughs> so he sees a text message like, oh, she loved me. Okay, bet. So he goes and books a flight to Boston for the next day, tells his boss he need to take a day off. <laughs> no lie, because he wants to go up there and surprise her. So after he made all these arrangements, he didn't tell her. They still checking in with each other. By the next day, he's texting her, how's everything going with your daughter? Oh, we're doing fine. He's like, well, I'm going to be out of pocket for a little bit. bit so um, I'll let you know when I'm done, you know, with my work stuff. He said he did that so she wouldn't worry because he had to get on this plane. So once he gets on the plane, he gets there, he's checking in with her again. How's everything going? Oh, we about to go to lunch. Oh, where y'all going to lunch? Oh, we going to lunch to an Indian restaurant. So he Googles Indian restaurant near Berkeley. And he finds the one Indian restaurant they have. And he goes to the restaurant. He says, I see them on the patio sitting down, you know, enjoying themselves. But they can't see me. And he's like, how am I going to do this? So initially... What he did was he texted her, how you doing? Everything going well? Yes, we enjoying life. And he said, oh, God, I got something I want to send you. He sends her a poem that he wrote for, for her. So she had already told her daughter about him, you know, been, been um, talking and bragging about this new man she met that she in love with. And um, she reads the poem to her daughter. Look what he wrote me. He's, he's so amazing. Oh, my God, she wrote me a poem. And in the poem, he's like giving her hints because he's like, you know, maybe you'll see me sooner than later. <laughs> So he goes inside the restaurant and tries to figure out how he's going to present himself to her. And she says she's sitting there with her daughter and her friends. And all of a sudden, the waitress comes out with a drink. And it's a drink that she likes. And it's like, this man at the bar sent you a drink. And she's like, no, I don't accept drinks from strangers. In fact, I'm in love. I don't need nobody else coming up to me. I already found the man that I want. <laughs> and her daughter's like, just drink the drink, mom. It ain't that serious. She's like, no, I'm going to return it. She stands up, holds the drink, proudly walks into the restaurant to confront this man and return this drink. And he turns around. And she's like, oh, my God. And when she goes outside, he goes outside with her and sits her down. And he's like, you know, I appreciate you. I like everything about you. And I have something for, it, for you. And he pulls out a ring. And she's like, oh, my God, this is great. This is like four days after they met. She pulls out a ring, and he's like, look, don't think this is an engagement ring. Don't feel pressured. This is the promise ring. I'm promising you that no matter where you go in this world, I'm going to always be chasing you until you're mine. And they still together. <laughs>